Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel. Uh, a few people have asked the question, what happens if I, re if I use remanufactured injectors? Well, you may as well use these things, right? Because that's what they are. They're just, you know, it's a matter of opinion to be quite honest, you know? Um, you know, it is a matter of opinion, so I suppose we can only give the information that we know about remanufactured injectors. Are you getting sick of this yet? You know what I mean? You get the picture. They're not new injectors. They're these things, right? Sick of it? Sick to death of it? Okay. Me, me too. Right, I've got a dirty glove hand now too. Anyway, that's enough, isn't it? You get the picture? Do you get the picture? Okay. What happens if I raise... <laughs> so I can't even speak properly like you. What happens if I use reman injectors or remanufactured? Okay, matter of opinion, mate. Maybe nothing will happen, right? Because if some wise man has gone, oh, I've done 150, 200 Ks, we've got to reseat these injectors, otherwise we're going to blow by, it's going to block the oil pickup, it's going to ride off the engine. While I'm in there paying for all this work and the seats and the this and that and the other, and to avoid any leaks, fuel leaks, I'm going to put new pipes, I'm going to put new injectors, they've done a heap of work, they're 8 or 10 years old, I want another 10 years out of this vehicle at a time, I'm not going to muck around, I'm going to put new squirters in, maybe they do that at 7 years even, you know, 7 years, 170, and they could be full DLC, and they'll be a really awesome set of injectors, so if, if you were to get one of those, clean it up, take the nozzle off, right, you know, that's over here, this little, see that bit on the end there, right, take that come off and put a new nozzle needle on there and chuck it on a machine and do your magic and coat them up and chuck them in they're probably going to be really good because guess what the old one was probably really good you know like pretty bloody good you know um so maybe you don't want to replace your injectors because now i'm telling you the old ones are pretty good it's up to you all depends how fussy you are and how much you love those pistons or not um perhaps you might get someone it might be in 2021 or 2022, 2023, 2024, and you might get some old injector like one of these that's been thrown around by me with a half broken solenoid. Who knows what care people have taken when returning cores and who knows how well they check them. Of course, they thoroughly check them. So you won't have an issue there. They only give you the best and only use brand new genuine parts and they're as good as new, right? Of course, that's what it is, right? That's, that's the deal. So... It's up to you, I suppose. Our, our understanding is that's what they do. They change the nozzle needle, clean them up, change the nozzle needle and coat them up. So there could be nothing wrong with them. They could be as good as new. So what happens? We'll get to that. But what happens with if you end up with a 2015 build injector that's only done 100,000 Ks, that someone's done a good job and put a new nozzle in there and done a good job, you probably get a pretty bloody good injector. And if you can get those... Um, then that's probably not too bad, especially if it's saving you money, like if they're half price, half the price of a new injector, bargain mate, you can get a set for, I don't know, what, 800 bucks or something for a set of four? What, Bailey's back then, they were doing them for what, 12, 13, 1400 bucks, I think they've gone up, but you know, uh, that's a different story, we won't go there, but the point is, you know, if it's just a nozzle needle, uh, you know, it's all you're changing, you're not doing much, how much could you charge per injector? It's just like any other traditional injector, 100 bucks each? Well, let's go 200 it's expensive right so there that's that's where we are we're at 800 so 800 is all one of those sets injectors would be worth in my opinion because that's all the work that's happened in my opinion maybe i'm wrong um so if you get one of those 2015 injectors then you're cruising because the injector was pretty good you know i'm talking ballpark general comments here it was pretty good it wasn't running rough or blowing smoke but someone changed it as prevention and then it got a new nozzle need in it needle so after all with the full DLC injectors, it is the most, uh, it's the part that wears the most, if you know what I mean. So, uh, not that it's a big deal, but once you get to about 150 or so, that's where we're seeing the wear on those nozzle needles. So, it's actually not too much of a bad system. But if you get an, end up with an injector that's 2008 or nine manufactured, you know, to the, that's what went into the earlier, like 150 Pratos Hiluxes, um, 2009 manufacturer, even a 2010 that's not full DLC. Um, it's old and flogged, it's done 300,000 Ks, maybe more. The engine was running rough, carrying like a pork shop. There's heaps of worn parts in that injector. Um, and then they just change the nozzle needle. Even if they change all the parts, is the inside of the injector getting honed out? Is that worn? 
How bad is that? You know, there's a lot of question marks there. The electronics, the solenoid on top, it's 10 years old. How much more life has that got left in it? Okay, um, has it been knocked around like what these just got knocked around? Okay, so these are the re these are all the unknowns that you can inspect the solenoid, look at it, think it's okay. It's my understanding they don't even come off. So the so the uh, solenoid valve could be not DLC coated. It could have wear on it. Um, the command pistons could be not DLC coated. It could be badly worn, as we've demonstrated in other videos. Check out our injector information playlist. That's where this one will be. So what happens? Well. I hope you understand why I explained and did what I've done because there's a big difference between an old flogged 3-400,000 K non-DLC injector compared to a 2015 full, D full DLC by replaced by someone that, you know, has gone, you know what, we used to change injectors every 100,000, you know, more uh, on the mechanical side of things. Getting uh, 150 or 200,000 200, is a lot of Ks out of these, you know. I mean, it's a good number. They're still, I'll say they're still pretty good at 200,000 in most cases. So they're not a bad injector. You can compare them to other brands if you like. They're not a bad injector, especially the full DLC, which started in some part numbers in 2010. The problem you got is with the older part numbers, they didn't make all those changes. So you've got to deal with what you can get. And that means you've just got to change them more often. They're not really bad at 150. The, even the older ones, it's just you do it as prevention is the idea, the way to do it. You don't want to replace the injectors when it's too late. You don't do it when it's too late. You do it as prevention, like your oil. You don't wait till it goes thick and chunky and whatever and hang on, I should have done it sooner because it's it's blocking up the sump plug hole and it's all, you know. You do it, oh, you drain it, oh, it looks too good to, you want your oil to come out and go, oh, that's too, why am I doing this? It's too good. That's what you want. That's, you want it clean like that anyway. So what happens? So if you put remands in, what's going to happen? So it all depends what remands went in, doesn't it? So they're probably going to be fairly okay because there's been some work done to them, but not necessarily. And the reason we know that is because over the years we've had people contact us with problems and they say, oh, you know, but I've, uh, I've, had, I've just had my injectors done. I had them done 20,000 Ks ago or 30,000 Ks, whatever it was, not long ago usually. This has happened heaps of times. Whether it's other brands, those counterfeit we talk about, Whatever sort of remanufacturer you want to talk about, I don't care about what brand, who is and isn't doing what. All I'm telling you is brand new, genuine is the only way to go. So what happens? Well, what's happened to some people, mainly, maybe they don't know. What's happened to some people is it runs rough, it's noisy, it uses fuel, all the usual symptoms of an old flog set of injectors that look similar to that. Voila, because that's pretty much what you're getting. So it's a bit of, must be a bit of luck, I guess. Because it's a fact that we've had people with injectors that are not that old, that they believe were new. As I said, they all come in these, uh, you know, they all come in these sort of same boxes, these boxes like this, right? Well, not all of them, I shouldn't say that. But what I'm trying to say is to, let me be clear here, both new and remanufactured a box into those boxes as I've previously demonstrated. Now, right now, there's plenty of remanufactured available and that's obviously what's getting pushed because that's what's available. The manufacturing years ago, I was told it was close in one particular part number, what you're looking at here, it was close to a thousand a month. That's a lot of injectors that a lot of people that aren't gathering the correct information are ending up with in their engine. And that will be jobs that some of them will run fine and they won't know and they'll be in there for 10 years and the vehicle will get sold and another set of injectors and another 10 years and then it'll go to the scrap heap like all other vehicles. But, you know, each to their own, you know, whether they want to do their research, whether they want to make sure they get new, whether they go, oh, that Anthony, I reckon he's full of it, you know, I'm just going to put the remands in, they're as good as new, they use genuine parts. Hey, your decision, guys, doesn't bother me. I just give you the information. I don't like anything but brand new, genuine. Of course, that's what I'll use on my vehicle only, and uh, that's what I recommend. Now, when the there may be a shortage of some injectors at the moment. We're okay at the moment, so you can hit me up on Mondays. There may one day be a permanent shortage of these injectors. This could be it, but I doubt it. Um, I think it's more COVID related, that sort of thing, delays and that, like the cars and all that, you know. Apparently sales are down, things are gonna hit the fan soon. You know, there's a backlog, but they're gonna catch up and then they're gonna have heaps and there's gonna be cars parked because there's no money, everyone stops spending money. The, the, you know, the proverbial's gonna hit the fan, well it already is, but apparently people run in the place, they can't see where it's headed. But anyway, that's another story. What I'm trying to say is, all that really matters is the availability I believe is gonna come available again. 
We're okay at the moment. Hit me up on a Monday. If I go, mate, we've got no stock, you just ask me again next Monday or the next Monday or the next Monday. So just plan ahead. If you think you need them anytime soon, plan ahead. You can pay for your order and then obviously if we haven't got stock, you'll go in the queue. But I want to be clear, we've got stock at the moment. No issue. We've got more coming and we expect to see more. When that day comes that there's no new ones and they say, no, we're not, we're not making these anymore. It's just remanufactured only. What are we going to do? Well, I'll let you know then. But when, look, if I, what I'll suggest is, here you go, here's a hot tip, right? If you've got some old used 2015, 14, 13, or even 12 injectors that have done less than 200,000 Ks, they're probably better than your average remanufactured injector because this stuff here, it includes 0, 09, 10, 11, you know what I mean? All the older ones. So let's keep all the last. So if you've got a set of those, if you're doing the right thing at 180 and you're taking your injectors out of your 2013, because it's 2021 now, they're eight years old and you're gonna put a fresh set in, awesome. Keep your old set, take them out carefully, cap them up, put them in a sealed bag, put them in the boxes and put them on the shelf. You can keep them, I don't want them back. You keep those. Send me back the crows, put the Dow and all the other stuff, please, if you can. You can send me a love letter if you want. You can send me Dan Murphy's gift cards and all that stuff if you want. You don't need to. It's all good. I appreciate that. But I'm just saying, you can do that. You don't You don't have to send me injectors if you don't want. It doesn't matter. We've got heaps of suppliers, right? So it's, it's a non-issue. But we do appreciate them back for the simple reason I'd love to do that free contamination check for you to make sure you haven't got some water in your tank there. That's important. Um, and you're sending other stuff back anyway. So it's a combination deal. Um, but it's probably something to think about keeping those injectors because at a later date, it's quite simple. We can change those nozzles ourselves in no time. Um, obviously, then you need to have the equipment, which is something we can't do and you never know what's going to happen in the future. Um, where we have the equipment or somebody else that we, uh, a 4 before there's a workshop partner does or someone that becomes a partner. The key thing here is we just want to make sure we get you and you get the good stuff, avoid the problems and uh, butter bing, if you know what I mean, you know, just, we're just trying to reduce the workload because problems like using this stuff creates too much work and I can't do it all. Anyway, guys, that's about it. It's a butter bing. Subscribe, turn the bell on, thumbs up, and a butter boom. See ya.